everyone. Thanks again for joining us. All right, I'll just proceed to do the direct disbursements. And firstly, we're going to look at the payments. Um, it is very important to know and have everything correct. So first, we're going to have to do the recipients. So it's a rule of thumb to do the recipients at the recipients first. So when you're creating the payments, much smoother going through. So I'm going to click on the tab there. As you're seeing, it's on the same length, um, main tab there beside dashboard. I'm going to click on the payments tab. Below, you're going to see the sub tabs, which you're going to see a few options, payment summary, create payment, recipient. So we're going to go to the recipients first. From there, to the right of the screen, you're going to see two tabs in the, in the corner. I, say, I call them to be gold tabs. So we're going to click on create recipient. We're going to first do an individual um, recipient. And this would be used to do um, to add your, um, your employees firstly. So we're going to select, we've selected the recipient type. Then we're going to go set recipient type. From there, you're going to be asked to enter the information for that recipient. As you can see along the right, left side rather, their first name, the, the last name, recipient ID, account type, and um, account number and, and currency are mandatory. All of the options are, you know, if you wish to do so for, I guess, if you want to make it more thorough. But for this purpose, we're going to go through the mandatory steps, the, what, what mandatory fields, what are required. So I'm going to go, go ahead and add, add, my, um, add my recipient. I'm putting in the first and last name, recipient ID. We also recommend putting in the employee's TRN makes it much easier for them to be identified since, since it's unique to them as well. So for example, putting, let's make it up to nine numbers. All right, so we've obviously set to the country, which is Jamaica and so forth. So we're gonna go straight down to the account type, which is very important. So for this purpose, we're gonna select savings, account number, a Scotiabank's account number is from, it's up to nine. So I'm gonna choose, say for example, the you know, about six numbers, Again, and from there we select the input to that account number, then currency of the account, which is Jamaican, of course, for this purpose, Jamaican dollar. Below, you're going to see the banks available. Please note that this is all the banks in the country, all the local banks. So we're going to keep it to BNS for this purpose. So we're going to say, for example, this employee has an account at Scotia Bank Montego Bay. As you're seeing below, information comes up, which includes the bank, the SWIFT code for Scotia Bank overall, and the ABA number, which is unique again to Montego Bay branch, and of course the branch address and so forth. So, right, so once we're there, so we click on to view everything that is that was entered, first and last name, recipient ID, account type, account number, and currency, and the branch is correct, then we can proceed to click on submit. Here you'll be asked to input your um, your password and your 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 token value. Oh, it says my recipient already existed. Let me try another TRN, made up TRN. Right, let me try that again. Right, so again, it's giving me the option to review um, the information I just created. And again, everything looks good. Then we can, again, it's going to ask you to input your password and token value, and you press confirm. 